All right, you guys, we're starting now. Thanks for the reminder, Brooke. Okay. Okay, guys, thanks for joining. I am so grateful for you. Grateful for you guys just stepping into learning more and to wanting more and to learn more, to better yourself, to better the world. Um, I do this because my, my vision is to help amplify the messages of all you guys and entrepreneurs out there. So this is the, the, the intention for this, uh, this masterclass is to give you guys some tools and some insights on how to share your message better, how to create an aligned brand, uh, personal brand and get your message out there so that you can attract more clients, more authenticity, more, more money. So here we go. We're going to jump into it. This is called Invisible to Influential, Supercharge Your Personal Brand to Magnetic. And we're going we're gonna to talk about harnessing your magnetism um, to go from invisible to influential. So I just want to make you the, make this invitation to you guys to stay till the end because I'm going to share some really amazing things throughout that are going to help you out and um, in your personal brand game. And also, uh, yeah, I want to share, I'm going to share with you the uh, Identity Alchemy course at the end to really, really help you elevate even more. Okay, so this course, this whole idea, these things are, you know, you can read through these. This is for you if you're a thought leader, a coach, an entrepreneur, speaker, anyone who, where you rep, where you represent your business, you are the product. So, you know, if you're a lot of you guys typed in what you who what you're doing in the chat, can you guys please mute um, if you are um, not muted? Thank you. Uh, you are the product. You are the service. Uh, so if you're an entrepreneur, you're starting a company, you are a coach, a speaker, you're an artist, you're a photographer, your personal brand is is so big in um, delivering your message to the world. Um, you are dedicated to self-mastery. So I'll share with you guys later too, is if you're an entrepreneur, if you've been doing this for a while, you're going to realize that, or you have, you probably already have realized that that personal development and who you are from the inside affect directly affects your business. It affects how you interact in the world. You know, your outer world is reflective of your inner world. So self-mastery and mastering these things is only going to make you a better business person. It's going to make you a better personal brand. It's going to liberate you, create more self-expression. And that's what's going to be magnetizing to people when you share that in your personal brand. You want to become, you want to be more recognizable. You are ready to stand out from your competitors just for being you. This is what this, this is all about. You're ready for more credibility and influence. You want to magnetize clients to you, step into an up-leveled and authentic identity. You want to up-level your visual brand toolkit. So these are all things. This is, this is for you. If this is, is what you're all about, it's not for you. If you don't have a desire to be a leader in your niche, you don't care about building a personal brand. You don't believe in self-mastery, personal growth. You find cookie cutter templates and images as your brand visuals just completely acceptable. You are not interested in being seen by the world and you're down to stay the same and not reinvent yourself. I'm gonna share with you guys some really amazing things that I've learned throughout my entire life, this process that I've been um, working through to become a better human and become a better business person and become a bigger personal brand in and of itself. I've learned a lot of these things throughout all my whole journey. You guys are just turn off your just turn off any distractions, your phones, notifications. I want you to be to just drop in and be super present here. Take some notes um, of what I've got to teach you guys today. So please do that now if you haven't already. Okay, so what we're gonna learn today. Um, how visual branding elevates your personal brand perception. So this is the first thing I'm going to teach you guys, and, and we'll get to it, and how brand perception is what, what you're creating for people in, um, in your personal brand. People, you're always putting out a perception, and 
people are going to make their own assumptions. In progress. Uh, we're going to talk about your your unique factor. Um, and this, your unique factor is what makes you, you, this is the authentic you. This is kind of a lot of what you guys are asking today too, is like, how do I tell my story? And, and it's all about your story. You, your uniqueness is your personal brand superpower of magnetism. And the third thing we're going to talk about self-mastery plus self-expression plus visual storytelling equals a magnetic personal brand. So magnetic, magnetic personal brand comes from liberating yourself into full expression. Um, this is the solution to all these things is identity alchemy, my identity alchemy, uh, I'll be sharing with you a little bit more towards the end, the course de deconstruct and liberate, curate an architect, and then become an express is the process that I've, um, curated for you guys. Okay. So this is me. This is, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to share a story with you guys here and I'll bring these back up in a moment. Um, here we go. All right, now you can see my face. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, I'm gonna share a story with you and I want you to just take a second. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine yourself in this space. I want you to imagine yourself as a little kid and you grow up in a religion. You grow up in a space, a religion of a construct that all throughout growing up, you never quite felt like it was you. You never quite felt it was what you believed. And you always felt like there was more. Now, as you're imagining this, I want you to imagine and I want you to feel what that would feel like where you feel repressed. Your truth is still so buried inside of you that you don't know what to do with it. You don't know how to feel. You don't know how to express yourself. You feel trapped. You might feel stuck. And imagine growing up all the way through elementary school into middle school. And you, you might even be imagine yourself going through the, emo, the motions of, of this religion, of this construct, whatever that might be. It might be, maybe it wasn't religion. Maybe it was something else. Maybe your parents had a specific way of wanting you to be something. They wanted you to be a certain person or a certain way of being. Um, and it had to be that way. And you went with it. You, you went through the motions and you really, really tried to believe this. You really, really like deep down inside tried to grab onto this, but there was something also deep inside of you that says, this isn't my truth. This isn't who I am. And you can't, I, I, I can't express what I truly feel because I'm, I'm in this bubble. I'm in this space. And that was me. That was me growing up. You can open your eyes now. Um, that was me growing up in a religious super religious home and um it was i felt trapped and i as a kid i was an artist um i i, I discovered art as a way of self-expressing even though i didn't know that these things were inside of me and i wanted to get them out um it was so nonverbal, and it was like speaking and talking was very repressed because I wasn't able to share my own belief systems. I wasn't able to talk freely in a household where I was put into a, a religion, um, a religious construct that certain things weren't okay. It wasn't okay to speak my truth. So I really, really shut that part of myself down and it really inhibited me in a lot of ways. And it, and I've had to like go through a lot of development through the years you know we we spend a lot of our um adult years on learning what we learned as kids and as as children so i grew up and this was like doing art was sort of this way of expressing myself without words it was a way of getting what was my truth out there even though i didn't even know what that was there was just something inside of me i felt like i was meant for more in this world than than being in the constructs of a religion um, 
so as I got out of, out of, uh, I went to, I ended up going to, I did AP art in high school and I was a really, really involved with the church. I was really involved in this religion. And, um, when I turned 21, I started to question things. I started to question, I started to step out of my own and my own belief system and explore what that even looked like. It took took me years to even like and to come to a different space. And, and this is part of the identity alchemy process that I've I've gone through my whole life of deconstructing what this looks like, deconstructing my belief system. And meanwhile, so it took me about seven years to let go of the fear of going to hell and free myself of that construct on a personal side of things, on a career side of things. I became a graphic designer um, out of high school and or out of college. And then I started doing I did that for about five years and I picked up a digital camera and started photo and shooting. And that's where I fell in love with photography. And this became my my biggest means of, of um, creative expression. And I still was like behind the camera and I was still hiding from the world and not expressing. I was expressing through my art, um, my visual, my visual medium. And then this 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 passion turned into it started growing and I started um I became a commercial photographer and this was like what I was excited to do. I was shooting global brands and I was shooting celebrities and I'm giving you guys a little bit of the shorter, the shorter story here so we can uh, move it along and, and, and share. So I was shooting global brands like Nike and Reebok and Coca-Cola. And I started shooting celebrities like Justin Bieber and Usher and magazines, Cosmopolitan and um, Mary Claire, Connie Nast Traveler. And I was living the life. This is, I was I was living this amazing um, life of just being in New York. I had moved to New York, and I was this celebrity commercial photographer, having a lot of fun, and it was such a great time. Um, I learned so much, and I'll show you guys a few photos here after I get through the story. But um, I learned so much from this process I, of of creating lifestyle imagery for. Or big brands, um, aspirational imagery that you know it's it's used to build a global global brand and like photographing celebrities and how to work with them and photographing for magazines and it was such a an amazing time of my life. And then um, after a few years, I started to get burnt out because I was I was shooting campaigns left and right. I would go from New York to LA, hop on a red eye, come back to New York, shoot another campaign and after a while I got burnt out a little bit and my energy got burnt out and then um yeah then social media came on the rise um and my business started slowing down and I was like what is happening to me the the commercial industry started to flip upside down and like they didn't know what to do with themselves it, it they didn't you know clients it didn't know how to interact with photographers and it just became this whole thing. And I started losing business and I started my, my whole world had like the emotional world had crumbled and I got to this space um, where I just was in complete disarray. I remember being in this basement, <laughs> throwing a party at my house and just like down here, like people were upstairs like partying, having a good time. And I was just down here crying because I was so emotionally distraught of like, what is wrong with me? What is going on? Why is this all happening? And my identity was being crushed. <laughs> my identity was falling apart and I didn't even know it. And um, so this led me to jump into a uh, I got enrolled. I got, my friend Lewis Howes enrolled me into a uh, emotional intelligence and leadership training called MITT out in LA, um, and this was kind of my my foyer foyer into personal growth. My like it opened up a whole new space of learning about a whole new space of perspective on life and um, living in in possibility versus living in living in limitation and how our thoughts create our reality and how we get to choose. You know. I always lived with this idea of creativity and designing my life, but this was like a whole different level of, of 
life creation. Like we get to create our lives and it all starts with the way that we think. It all starts with our personal development. That's why this piece of self-mastery has become so, so important. This personal development, this self-mastery has been so important to me um, because it's made my life deeper and richer throughout the years. Um, type a five in the chat, guys, if you're, if you're with me here, if you, if you feel, you feel this, yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, if you're resonating here, type a yes as well. Love it, love it. Thank you guys. Yeah, so um, one of the biggest things that I learned throughout this emotional intelligence and leadership training that it was that my, my self-worth was coming from my career. It was coming from who I was, who I was shooting, who I was, you know, the who, the brands that I was shooting, all these things, like that's what I thought made me, me. And I realized that's not, that's not what makes me, me <laughs> through this course. And this was this whole disillusion of ego, this, this, you know, we live in this society where everything is so externally validated, especially now with social media that ampl that's amplified a thousand thousand hundred thousand x is is the the need for external validation and how how that satiates right and so if if that goes away like my career or my business started going downhill i started going downhill and i thought there was something wrong with me and also there wasn't it was just my way of thinking um so this was like a huge piece of my 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 life um trajectory as a as a photographer and so through that, um, yeah, it made me realize like how important self-mastery and personal development was. And so I started doing these other things. I started, I started a podcast um, where I explored creativity and now it's about exploring creativity and consciousness. And I started exploring other art forms like drawing and painting murals. You can see back there and eventually making hats was a whole nother medium. And, and so it, it gave me the space to play more creatively and explore different things. And then my friend Lewis Howes came um, uh, one day to me and he was like, hey, you know, I'm doing a new website. I need photos. Um, can I hire you to do a photo shoot? And I was like, yeah, of course. And so I took, started taking a lot of things that I learned through the, the celebrity world, the commercial photography world, and started and did this shoot with Lewis. Um, and it was the, this kind of, editorial lifestyle elevated realism that I call it uh space uh for his website and this is how I got into translating all of my my stuff to the uh all everything that I learned through the commercial world into the personal brand world so I've been doing this now this is what that's what got me started into helping entrepreneurs with their personal brands on the photography side and now I just like what I'm going to share what I'm sharing with you today is the way to break that down and help you guys do it for yourselves um, and help bring more of you into your personal brand and align with that um, and, and create a magnetized, mag, magnetized personal brand. So um, type a yes in the chat if you're with me, if you're excited to learn some of these these uh things today yes fabulous fabulous um so before we jump back in i just want you guys to close your eyes close your eyes and i want you to imagine i want you to imagine yourself a year from now having more clarity on who you are Having more clarity on what you offer the world. Having more clarity on how to share that with the world. Your brand is popping. Your personal brand is popping. People are coming to you. People are magnetized to you. I want you to imagine what your life is like one year into the future. You're so clear on, on how you serve the world and how your message is getting out there and what your message is, what your service is, what your gift is to the world. I want you to imagine being seen and being photographed and 
sharing that with the world, sharing you with the world. Imagine yourself being even more fully expressed in your brand. And your brand is not just photos. Your brand is everyday life, who you are, who you are being, and your self-expression. That's what's going to magnetize people to you to be their guide and to share, share yourself with them, to share your message with them. Okay, great. You can open your eyes now. I'm going to share my screen so you can look at the screen. We're going to go back into the presentation. All right. All right. So um, this is me. This you can see. This is a little bit of my evolution here, uh, my journey. This is me as a little kid. For some reason, I have all these photos of, of uh, me being put to work. <laughs> so um, there's me with my first camera, which funny enough, I never even thought about that 20 years later, I would be an actual photographer and see me with uh, bleach blonde hair. It's my sister. And then me on one of my first uh, few Nike jobs here on set. Um and then on the second row, you can see my is just showing you guys my personal evolution of my own expression and my my ways of being. This is me at Burning Man last year, and then um, some more recent images. Um, I just got LASIK surgery, so uh, it's uh, a whole new way of seeing seeing the world. This is my personal brand, so. Your personal brand really extends into your, especially like your website and then social. So I look at things from a big branding perspective of high level. So high level imagery that really is, illustrates who you are and it goes on your website and press and different things like that. And then matric matriculates down into social media. So yeah, I'm here with you guys. This has been a dojo for me and even putting this, this presentation together. This is the first masterclass I've ever done. So I have this last couple of weeks, it's taken me out countless of hours going into this and it's been so uncomfortable and it's all a part of my own self-mastery is working through this as well. So, you know, life is a dojo. Life is a dojo if you choose it to be. Um, if you choose to be putting yourself in uncomfortable places and uncomfortable spaces, you're going to grow and you're going to get better at things and you're going to learn. Um, and that's what this is all about. Self-mastery is putting yourself in the dojo for expansion and growth intentionally. It creates depth, greater self-expression and greater impact. And, you know, I was asked like, why, like, why do I, why is the self-mastery mean so much to me? Why is personal development mean so much to me? Because there's so much depth, you know, I want to live life with so much depth and greater self-expression and greater impact. Um, we only have one life here, guys, like, why not make it the best? And when you can master everything within you, you're going to create even more expansive space on the outside. Um, in turn, it creates better health, greater, greater wealth and deeper relationships. That's exactly why. Um, Magnetism comes through the intention of self-mastery. So I've been in this this here myself is my intention is self-mastery and to become even more magnetic. And so it's taken a lot of these things to put myself through to even grow through all of this. And it's also part of the entrepreneur journey, as we talked about. It's, you know, the better, the more you alchemize your inner world, your outer world becomes a reflection of that. You are constantly, every moment you are creating, you are creating the world outside of you. The personal brand is just the crystallization of what's going on and who you are, what's going on inside of you, things that you teach, your message, it's just a crystallization of that. And that's what's going to magnetize people. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's personal, building a personal brand is deeper than just the surface. It's, it's more than just 
aesthetics and logos, building a personal brand is is really about bringing your unique factor out. It's a it's a deep dive into the real you, who you really are, and letting yourself be seen. Um, it's about showing up authentically and and um, in a whole new way. And this is this process that I'm going to teach you guys or share with you guys later is is really all about that. So just to give you a little context here of of me and who I've some some of these things that I've created in the world. These are some different brands that I've I've created global campaigns for. Um, just to give you a little context here. Um, there's a few celebrities that I've worked with. Uh, you might recognize a few of them. And just tying this all back to what I was saying is is all of the this experience has given me all the information, the education, and the tools to be doing this right here and to be uh, helping entrepreneurs in the photography side of things as well. A few entrepreneurs you might recognize. So what is possible? To make your brand, you and your brand magnetic, you must unlock your self-expression then elevate credibility and trust through emotional, resonant, visual storytelling, imagery, and create this perception. There's a little case study. Um, Lewis Howes, uh, as you might know, uh, we created, he was like, what should I, this was a few shoots later. So he was like, what should we do? Like, where? what's the idea? What's the concept? So visual storytelling. I pitched in the idea of going to Cappadocia in Turkey to shoot in the hot air balloons, um, shoot him in the hot air balloons with all of them behind him to illustrate the idea of rising to your greatness. Cause Lewis is all about greatness, helping people rise to their greatness. So I was, uh, I came up with a, this idea and he loved it and wanted to do it. So we created that batch of imagery. And then just to show you a couple of the other cases, he was, we just shot him for the cover of success magazine we shot his book cover. So you can see kind of where this, this is all going, where this, how this all connects. And you can see his magnetism through the photos. So what's possible for you if you follow my process and is you'll discover a formula that you can use ongoing as you evolve and grow as a human. Uh, so you can apply that to your own personal brands, my identity alchemy course that I'll be telling you about. Uh, later, um, you'll develop an identity blueprint to create uh, clarity for your upgraded identity that you're embodying and the telling the story of um, identity architecting process to build uh, credibility of your personal brand. You'll discover your, your unique factor and how to exploit that in service to the world. Okay, so I'm going to get to the, the, the teaching points here of the whole presentation of the masterclass. And this is the first secret. Um, I'm gonna, I wanna give you guys context as to how this works. So the secret is visual branding elevates your personal brand perception. So branding is all about perception. Uh, perception is everything. It is, you're, you're creating a perception, you're cre out in the world, whether you realize it or not. So, um, if you are not being intentional with, with what you're putting out there, people are already making assumptions of who you are. And if you're not, you, if you're using say like, you know, an iPhone photo, really horrible photos, people are going to assume that you don't know what you're doing or whatever, you know, whatever that looks like you're going to assume. So I'm going to walk you through this process, like understanding of how brand visual brand perception works. Um, so brand perception is important because it influences a customer's decision on the product or service. It's why we buy one product over or service over another uh, is the brand perception that we have. Of course, you want your, your product or service to be amazing and also your, your brand perception needs to match that. Um, so I want to use Coca-Cola here as an example. I don't drink Coca-Cola. It's not my my wheelhouse of health and wellness, but it's a great case study because everyone knows this brand. Um, so my question to you is, um, what brand would you buy first because you trust it? 
most people would say Coca-Cola because you know, you, you have a perception of the brand of Coca-Cola. You know that it's refreshing because they told you it's refreshing through their branding. Um, what's that? Um, why would you trust it over buying the, the generic cola? You know, we because you don't know it. You don't have a, a perception of this brand. It's just a generic piece. And if you were to walk into a a store and you know, as as just an average consumer, you would probably buy Coca Cola over the regular cola because you know it in your mind. They've created a brand around it. They they created trust and credibility um, through their branding and through their 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 advertising. Um, point exactly here. This is a campaign that I shot is helping create this <laughs> is, you know, when you see these elevated realistic imagery, it puts, it creates this credibility in your mind. Um, it evokes emotion. It, it, you feel something, you feel an emotional resonance with this, with the, uh, with the photograph and therefore with the product in the photograph and the, and it's all about it, you feel connected to that brand, which is why you would buy that brand first. Um, so taking this to a personality level, celebrities use high level portraiture in magazines to create an elevated personal brand perception as well. And this is how the machine works, right? This is the game. This is the game that is being played. And uh, celebrity is created through, and I'm talking about the idea, the actual like, um, celebrity is like a, it's a, like a noun. It's a, it's a thing. So creating the idea of celebrity is created through high level imagery in magazines and high level uh, on websites and, and different things like that. So you can see through these, even just these photos, like what does this, um, do you feel connected to this person? Do you feel a resonance with these people? Uh, and so the idea is to create an aspirational space uh, for people to aspire to through, through visual storytelling and through visual imagery. Um, so here, this is, this is some of my photography here to illustrate the idea that you can do the same thing with your brand, it, creating elevated, realistic photo photography to evoke emotional resonance, right? You want people to feel you. And then when you place it in certain spaces, it create becomes aspirational. You you create a an aspiration for people to um asp uh, to want to be to want to be a part of to want to be a part of your brand, to want um want you to be their guide. So what's possible for you utilizing this secret? Um, it establishes a visual identity. Um, so when you're creating when you utilize high level photography, what I call elevated realism, it creates a, a visual identity, something that's an aesthetic for your brand that people come to know and recognize. It, it in a way binds people um, or connects people. It's a, it's a connective tissue to have a, a consist consistent style and aesthetic across all of your marketing materials. Um, it takes seven times for people to start to remember, to see something for them to start remembering it. So. If you're creating a stylized aesthetic across all of your branding materials, um, people are going to start to remember, remember you more, and then you become more easily recognizable. Uh, it creates emotional resonance. So photography evokes emotion, and it creates, uh, it creates a connection between you and your clients, uh, your brand and your clients, uh, and it... Um, when you look at an image where you where that person is is expressing an emotion, they're self-expressed and they're expressing this emotion, you feel that. And I've noticed this even when I'm like throughout, like that's the biggest thread line with my photography work is I always capture these moments that feel real. They feel like you're there. And when you feel that resonance, it creates another bond, a subconscious bond, um, and even like creates a neurological connection to 
your clients to the viewer. Uh, and then lastly, it communicates your brand values. So this is where the storytelling piece comes through is, is you can communicate your values and beliefs through visual storytelling, through the, the props, the locations, the expression, the clothing, all of these things tell a story. Uh, so it's thinking about all these things that you're putting into the photograph that um, create a deeper connection, a, a deeper storyline. So here's a stat. It was from uh, the Brand Builders uh, Group study. 58% of Americans would be willing to pay more uh, to somebody, to a professional who does um, not work at a large company but has an established personal brand. Uh, and you see this more and more these days is, I mean, think about this. I, I do this all the time. I, I, I will buy something or pay more, pay somebody more if they're, if they have established personal brand, I feel more connected to them as a, as a human, as a person. So this is what we're creating here is more connection so that people want to, to pay you more. They want to, they want to work with you. They want to do all these things. Uh, so the takeaway here, this is what you, what I want you guys to journal, write down, um, write down uh, your favorite 10 brands, either product or personal brands that you aspire to, and then write down what it is about them that you aspire to uh, create. Um, just want you guys to... Type a yes in the chat if you're with me. If you're with me here still. There we go. Love it. Thank you guys for listening. I'm so grateful for you. All right. So this will be some homework for you guys. Uh, yeah, it includes people that you admire. So even if you like personal brands like celebrities or whoever, there's there's an aspect to that. And that's also something I'm going to teach you later is there's something, if you admire somebody or a personality, there's probably something within their brand that, or their self-expression that resonates with you. So yeah, write that person down and then write what it is that you love about them. And this is where it's going to start creating awareness of the self-expression pieces that these people or brands have to offer and how you can start applying them to your own uh, your own person, personal brand. Love that. All right. Number two. So the secret number two is developing your unique factor. Uh, your unique factor is who you are. It is, it is everything that creates your story. And, you know, somebody was talking about uh, sharing their story and being, being afraid to, to share their story. I know how that feels. Like it's taken me so much work to be able to share my story here with you guys today. Um, I've been doing years of, of development work, which I'll share a little bit more of that in a little bit. Um, but sharing your story is the most powerful piece that you have. It is, it is who it's what makes you who you are. So it, it makes you unique your your values so your unique factor is your value strengths and your hero's journey story so you guys can take a screenshot of this or write these down um and these are there's more than this too but i'll show I'll, um these are some a good place to get you guys started so your cultural advantage you know what like especially nowadays um culture cultural diversity has become an advantage. Uh, me being Asian has been, I've been able to tell my story a lot more and, and, and speak to that. So cultural advantage, your circumstances. And, you know, we all have different circumstances and it's not, it's how you rise above your circumstances. So that in and of, is, of itself is a story, right? Like you could have come from poverty and came out of that. Look at Oprah. Oprah came out of poverty and became who she is today. I came from a very just low middle class family and have created my life the way I've wanted it today. My, you know, circumstance, I didn't have like a very poor upbringing, but I didn't have any, any money growing up, you know, going out to Pizza Hut growing up was a, a treat for my family. Um, 
so yeah, sharing your circumstances and how you've risen above them is a huge uh, piece of the game. Thank you guys for sharing all this stuff. I love it. Uh, where you've been and why, you know, traveling the world. I've been to over 60 countries and seven continents, and it's given me the exploration to, to understand so many different cultures. It's shaped my life tremendously. It's shaped my story tremendously. What you've achieved and why, you know, do you have accolades? Have you written books? Have you done any, you know, whatever it is, it could be small, it could be big, you know, celebrating and, and, and weaving these places, we, weaving these things into your, your story makes, also helps your unique factor. Um, who you've helped along the way, you know, different people, uh, I guess I think that's like also, yeah, part, part exactly part of my career is a lot of the people that I've um, photographed have been a huge part of my story. Um, and also it's, it's makes for some great stories <laughs> to tell who you, who and what you've taken a stand for. Do you stand for something? What did it, what is it? Do you have a particular knowledge on one specific topic that you really want to make a stand for. That's also a very big unique factor, your hobbies and your interests. This is a, th a really big thing that I love bringing into people's into photo shoots with people is what's unique about your, like, which hobbies are you into? Like what, in what, what things are of interest to you? Uh, your mindset and perspective. This is everything. Art is the way that you see the world. You know, your perspective is your unique spec perspective on the way that you see the world. And that is part of your unique factor. What do you teach? You know, we teach what we need to learn, right? And I'm in this dojo right now, like as I was saying, is this this space of this dojo of of liberation of my own uh, limiting beliefs and deep subconscious uh, layers of of self expression. Uh, your message to the world. Um, it, uh, you know, your unique message to the world is is what you have to share your hero story, you know, what, how did you rise above your circumstances or whatever that, that story is, that is part of your unique, your unique factor. Um, so whatever, what makes you different makes you valuable. You know, there's the, there's the uh, John Lennon quotes, it's weird not to be weird. And your weirdness is your superpower. It is, it's what makes you, you it's, it's, you know, you're, when you were weird as a kid, you were judged for being weird. And now that weirdness is, is, is a huge piece of, of who you are. There's a couple, um, case studies here. This is a couple of like different photo shoots to kind of illustrate using your unique factor in, in visual imagery. So Jim Quick, uh, we did a shoot for his uh, his book launch. His book was called Limitless around uh, optimization and learning uh, through your mind and becoming limitless through your mind. And um, so we shot him on the rooftop of his New York City uh, apartment with the skyline in the background just to give this expansive, expansive space with him pointing to his mind. That's his kind of his like his uh, go to like mannerism or or. Uh, space. It was really about. Uh, you guys mute, please. Um, yeah, it was really about sh telling that story of his uniqueness. Gabby Bernstein. Um, her whole brand is around mindfulness and meditations, and so we just captured this really. You know, we wanted to be really about that moment of of capturing her in this meditative, surrendered state. Uh, this guy's Bo Eason, and he was an ex-NFL. He's an ex-NFL player who's now business coach, and one of his top family values is family. Uh, so we wanted to kind of tell the story of hint at his, his history of football and also bring in his new, like, new values of this current identity that he's in. And so we shot him hanging out with his family on, um, on, the, uh, on a football field. Emily Fletcher, she is, uh, she's my meditation teacher. I learned from a long time ago. So we wanted to tell a sh her type of meditation is a Vedic based meditation um, we, for busy people essentially. Uh, and so we wanted to tell the story of her finding the peace and the calm through meditation in a, bit, in a, in a busy city like New York City. 
All right, Lewis. Oh, we already went through this one. So, so next. So here we go. Takeaway for this lesson here is so take a screenshot of this slide or journal your answers to these points. Um, and uh, you can you can kind of sit with these and journal and it'll help you find your unique factor. So type of five if you're with me, type a yes in the chat. If you're with me if this is if this is resonating with you. Love it. Thank you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. All right. All right. So step number or secret number three, uh, we've kind of touched on this a little bit. Uh, Self-mastery plus self-expression plus visual storytelling equals a magnetic personal brand. So self-mastery. Um, thank you guys for joining. And yes, uh, so self-mastery, actively developing yourself by uncovering and letting go of layers of limiting beliefs, societal constructs. Uh, and religious constructs that keep you from expressing your truth. It is also the act of learning uh, new ways of being, new skills of mastering your body, mind, and spirit to live in a more expansive space. It's also, it is investing into yourself. It, your inner world creates your outer world. So spoke on this a little bit earlier, but when you are, if you're an entrepreneur, coach, speaker, and selling you as your business you're you know it's like goes back to my stories like when i when my inner world went downhill i my business went downhill as well so your self mastery is um it's really about mastering yourself and mastering your inner inner thought worlds your inner your inner energetic worlds and embodiment and all these different things um to master this life and pour that into your personal brand Self-expression, understanding who you truly are and embodying that version of yourself in the world. Um, it allows you uh, to be seen and, and that's uh, what creates magnetism. Liberating, liberating yourself uh, through inner work is how you unlock the greatest piece of self-expression. It's an ongoing process of identity alchemy. And this is something I was, I was talking about earlier is this process of identity alchemy, which I'll share with you guys in a little bit, is an ongoing process that you can use throughout your life. It came through me, um, came to me because I, I just was looking back at my life and seeing how many times I was going through this process and decided to kind of uh, to put a uh, container on it. Um, and the last piece is you get to be the per permission slip for others. And that's what building a personal brand is, is, is giving people permission to be them their full their full selves uh visual storytelling it's a powerful way of communicating your story through self-expression through photography through graphic design and video and media um utilizing it in your personal brand is the best way to communicate your magnetism so you're reaching way a way bigger audience through crystallizing this in visual imagery and video and graphic design um, and communicating your your self-expression to the world through through the digital space. Uh, so self-mastery plus self-expression plus visual storytelling equals a magnetic personal brand and having magnetic personal brand will bring you a bigger audience and more money. So I want you to uh, last piece is look at the image on the, the images on the next slide and write down which ones resonate with you and why. Um, what magnetizes them to you? So go ahead and and uh, actually I'd love I'd love for you guys to like write in the chat um, a couple a couple of your answers to that question. Like which 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 of these images resonate with you? Oops. Ah. Thank you guys. You can choose multiple. <laughs> so you guys can see here. Yeah, I love hearing from you guys uh, on the chat here of what resonates with you. Um, but telling the story, the chess guy is Todd Herman, who wrote a book called The Alter Ego Effect. And that alter ego effect is about 
creating an alter ego for for your peak performance. So it's really a game of chess. The tree, the, the person in the tree, yeah, Dr. Robin. Love it. Thank you guys for sharing. <laughs> Jessica Alba, she's your ex. <laughs> Jim Quick, I love that. Amazing. Love it. Okay, guys, um, just type a yes in the chat if these three points were of value to you. Amazing. Amazing to hear. I love it. So grateful for you. So grateful for everyone here. All right, let's keep it going. Keep it moving. Um, another takeaway here for you guys is to journal what you desire self-expression to look like. Uh, who would you be if there were no limitations? So you can write that down. Maybe think about that later. Think of what that would look like for you. Also ask yourself, if I could just shed one layer of what is covering my fullest expression of who would I be then? If I brought one part of me to the next space, who would I be? Which What next level of credibility would that be to my brand and how could I leverage that? Way more expressed, love that. So I'll give you a couple more kind of examples here. Uh, this is my friend, Jeremy Eugene Wilson. Um, he is, uh, he's a, he's a coach. So which, uh, which image of, of Jeremy do you trust the most? Comment in the chat. <laughs> this is, yes. The expression, the feeling. So this is identity alchemy, guys. This is this is the process that I want to share with you guys um, here in a few minutes. And he looks so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, wild, right? Um, the next couple are a little bit more nuanced. So this is the whole. This is kind of the rest of. This is the whole shoot we did for him telling his values, his stories. He's uh, one of his big things is he writes on post-it notes for his coaching. And uh, and so we plastered his whole office with post-it post notes. Um, his family is a big value of his. So again, so we're just kind of really, really illustrating story and expression and who he is. Um, Danielle Leslie, you can see a little before and after. It's it's even subtle, right? Like you can see, um, you can even see the difference in her self expression just from like on the left, she feels like she's new, like she kind of is like I don't know, and then on the right, she's like confident and fashionable and so different. Jim Quick, I know we just sh showed him. Here's another one, but I just. <laughs> I found this photo of him and you could see even in his smile, the difference of his own expression, um, his own um, smile. So we're just going to recap here. Uh, number one, secret number one was how visual branding elevates your personal brand perception, your career, creating the perception of which you want other people to see you. So branding, you got to come at it with intention. Um, otherwise, people will make their assumptions of who you are, and they might not be great um, if you're not being intentional about what you're putting out there. Number two is your unique factor. Um, what makes you you? And then really getting clear on that. Um, 
Number three, self-mastery, self-expression, visual storytelling equals a magnetic personal brand. Um, so that's the formula. That is what makes your brand magnetic. All right, guys, to so type another type a yes in the chat if you're with me, if this is helping you. Great, 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 great. Love that. So you guys want to hear how I can help you supercharge your personal brand to, to magnetic. Type a five in the chat. Type a yes in the chat if you're with me. All right. Great, 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 great. Love you guys. Love you guys. So great. So this is my upcoming, this is, this is my concept, my, my, my process that I'm going to, this in my upcoming course, Identity Alchemy 101. Um, the process deconstruct, curate, and become. So liberate, architect, and express. And then we're going to walk you through a, a deeper process of how this works and how you can gain, gain clarity, liberate yourself, create self-expression. Um, it's really going to be a great process. And some of my fonts are a little messed up here. Uh, the first, the first is deconstruct and liberate. So to liberate, you must deconstruct what is hidden within you. And we're gonna go a super deep dive into this part of the process: deconstruction of your adopted identity, the identity that you, the world told told you you needed to be. Deconstruction of what was repressed inside of you. You know what's what's deep inside of you that gets to be liberated, and alchemized into self-expression deconstruction of your natural identity who you are who you truly are and your true expression and what gifts do you have to offer the world the deconstruction of what's holding you back limiting beliefs and stories uh, release of fears and negative emotions what somatically keeps you from your self-expression um, deconstruct your hero's journey story so we'll we'll drop into a deeper arc of of your uh hero's journey Um, architect or curate and architect number two. So the second phase of the the second portion of this course is going to be curating. So you're gonna we're gonna like dig deeper into your dharma alignment, architecting your life's dharma into your brand. And uh, this is where you start to ideate and create a new identity and how we'll translate that visually. So design your archetype, uh, creating an art your archetype through those who inspire you, interests and inspirations, bringing all of you to the table. What inspires you? What? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be in this next iteration of your identity? Um, the I see me, I see, seeing yourself in a whole new way. The identity architecture game, operating in, the, in this world is a game, and it's really about playing the game. You know, we are, we we get to be whoever we want to be in this world. We get to architect whoever we want to be. We get to to create that, and so that's what this part is going to be visual story and in, in, uh, inspiration and translation. So how do you take your unique factor um, and translate that into a visual space? Um, we'll, I'll teach you guys how to create uh, visual mood boards to really, really like dive in and architect this. Uh, number three, become uh, express. So this is the becoming and the expressing piece of it, right? Your unique factor um, and visual translation. So your Dharma alignment, um, actually, well, this is the, uh, sorry about that, this is the wrong slide, but um, the becoming piece is about the embodiment. Uh, it's about embodying this new identity of who you want to be in the world, um, how you're going to operate, what it's going to look like, uh, and and some different practices to actually become that. So the becoming piece is really stepping into this, um, and then the expression piece as well, and then there, I'm going to talk to you guys. I'm going to teach you guys how to find the right photographer, how to like uh, find the right photographer to bring this this uh, this new identity to life that you can share it with the world. Because um, there's a lot of different nuances that that takes, and you want to find the right person that can bring out what needs to be brought out of you. And then, so, oh man. It's, computers so the fonts are a little messed up so um this is so i've got panels with these amazing guests here that are going to go we're going to dive deeper into each subject we have coyote 
Joseph, a uh, holistic healing expert. We're going to really talk about dream life and embodiment. She is a master at that. We've got Garen Jones. He's a leadership coach and uh, founder of our, our artist power. We're going to talk about bringing your inner child to the surface to um, help realize your gifts. We've got Dr. Christian Gonzalez, who's a healer and doctor, educator, really focused on somatic release. And so we're going to really go into talking about how stuff that's inside of you can be released emotionally to make room and to liberate your self-expression. Um, he does these insane uh, emotional release uh, workshops. Um, so we'll be talking about that. We've got Ivana Fontana, celebrity stylist. We're going to talk about style and confidence and how to make your um, make your brand, bring out your uniqueness of your brand identity with uh, style and wardrobe. And then we have um, Jessica Zewig, who's a uh, founder of Simply Be, an agency, and she's going to be talking about self-worth and um, putting yourself out there as your, with your personal brand. We have Gerard Adams, the founder of Leaders Create Leaders. Um, he is, we're going to talk about the power of visual storytelling, how he's built his brand through visual storytelling, and it's become one of the biggest pieces of his brand growth. We've got Anna Nazri, who is, she's the founder of Lumina Creative. We're going to talk about the power of graphic, of visual design and uh, in your personal brand. And then we have Rory, Rory Vaden, who's the founder of the Brand Builders Group. Uh, we're going to talk about how to monetize your personal brand. He does the strategy for Lewis Howes and Ed Milet and some other really big names. Um, so yeah, type a yes in the chat, guys, if you're with me here. Got a big lineup here. It's exciting. Amazing, amazing. All right. So through the process, we're going to create your identity blueprint. So we're going to, I'm going to have a document or it's going to be a process. So we'll be working through the whole, the whole week in creating cr the clarity through the deconstruct, curate and become process. And then into the visualization of the piece. Um, and then you'll have a, basically a full document to find when you find your photographer to help you tell that story. Um, and this is a document that will be, you'll be able to use forever because the truth is, is, is we're always going through this identity alchemy process. It is, I mean, I've gone through it multiple times, probably you know, two or three times this year even. Um, and it's a space to, it's a way, it's a, it's a formula that I've created to help you actualize that and to step into um, the next version of yourself. Um, so you'll have this this template forever. You'll be able to uh, create it um, every time. Every time you're up leveling up leveling yourself, it's a way to up level yourself and really discover the next step of the next the next version of yourself. So let me ask you this, guys: What would it mean to you to be fully expressed in your life and personal brand, attracting more clients, more impact, and more money? Type that in the chat. Type your answer to that in the chat. Using freedom. Love that. Time, freedom, happiness. Love that. Sense of accomplishment, autonomy. Love that. Love that, guys. Feeling magnetic, fun, freedom, living your truth, freedom, light, joy, travel, amazing, generosity, beautiful, confidence, ease, love it, love it, moving through the world as a known force for, for harmony, beautiful, love that, fulfilling your destiny, I love it, self-knowledge, love it. Amazing. So what you guys are going to walk away with here is a process of self-mastery that you can utilize forever to activate more express levels for your personal brand, uh, a five-day identity alchemy experience with me. Um, and if you can't make the calls, they'll be, the replays will be sent out, your identity blueprint, the masterclass bundle with eight expert guests, 
magnetic high vibe photography toolkit from ca camera shy to camera fly with coyote uh, community whatsapp group so you guys can connect through your, with your cohorts and 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 help each other throughout the process so the value is 14,294 but today for you guys it's 997 and uh surreal if you could paste the uh the link in the chat that'd be amazing so as a bonus um the first 20 people to join are going to receive a free uh 30 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching session and personal brand audit with me so if you sign up now and pay in full you will get that as an extra bonus Yes, insane value. <laughs> I really want to really want to help you guys liberate and be magnetic here. So jump on it. This uh, this this uh, bonus is only uh, for the first twenty people in the first twenty four hours. Yes, if you buy today, it's nine ninety seven. You can buy at that link. Yep, you get everything above. Everything on this page you get for nine ninety seven. Yes, thirty minute chat with me. If you sign up, if you're one of the first people to sign up, first twenty people. Um. Yeah, the call will be. You come with your questions, and I'll do a, a brand audit, uh, personal brand audit on what you have now as a bonus. Epic. Aspen's iPhone signed up. Dope. Love it. Stella, bring it. Who else is in? Type a yes in the chat. Yeah, at the end of at the end of today or at the end of uh yeah, I'll stay, I'll stick on for a few minutes to to answer some questions. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh the courts the course dates. Oh yeah, it's the 22nd of Jan of of May, January of May. So in 2 weeks. So more importantly, you're going to find yourself imagine if you started today, gain more clarity and build more confidence. Jump on it. Ah. All right, guys, I'm going to jump, jump back on here. I'm going to open up the floor to, uh, to any questions. Yes, Kelly. Love it. Carlos, you can still you can still jump in if you want. But they'll all be recorded. You can't make all of them. Time tomorrow. It's end of day tomorrow, Bunny. Yeah, Jody. If you can't make the the calls, they're all going to be recorded. So everything you'll be able to watch. Everything you'll have access to. Everything. Um, all my sessions, all the guest sessions, everything is uh, everything is uh, ready to go. Um, the course is is five days. It's it's uh, forgot to put that up here. So the course is is twelve o'clock EST starting Monday the the twenty second. It's five days. Um, it'll be five days. And then the the guest sessions will be kind of in pocketed in different spaces, and some of them, a couple of them, will be pre recorded. Uh, the Q and A will be at the end of each session. Yeah, the audit is uh, I'll it's uh, I'll audit and give you my personal opinion on your brand, um, your personal brand. Who else is signing up? 
who got value out of today's um today's course or today's today's uh master class type of yes in the chat uh the course is that each each lesson is about an hour and a half plus uh plus uh the 30 minute q a but we're recor recording them all every everything's going to be recorded because uh obviously it's going to be it's you know just to make it easier for everyone to get all the information and uh and be part of it and there'll be a whatsapp group that you guys can all connect with connect with and um you guys connect with each other and help each other out it's gonna be great uh 12 p.m till oh no est not pst it's 12 p.m est till 2 p.m est and i think yeah the uh, yeah the journal prompts are great we'll, we're going to dive even deeper into more journal prompts and really really excavate um and deconstruct where you've been so when you know where you've been you can start to ar architect your new identity and great gain a lot more clarity on where you're going and what you get to share with the world so it's going to be really um a really amazing process and then i'm going to share with you a, a lot of these all, all you know how to how to build out and visual storytell um with the right and find the right photographer uh the recordings will be up forever you'll have access to them forever carlos you can watch them you watch them all at your leisure whenever you're whenever you have time Yeah, if you have to miss one, you'll you'll still be able. To, uh, the recordings will go up right after each um, each lesson. Thanks, Samuel. Uh, today's replay will be going up. Yes, right after once I upload it, we'll we'll, we'll put it right back up. You're welcome, Beth Ann. All right. Any other questions? Anybody want to jump on and ask? I'm, I will uh, open the floor here. If you have any questions, I think you can raise your hand and I can bring you up. Let's see. Any other questions? All right, guys. Well, uh, that's all we have for you today. Um, we'll be sending out an email with a link. Remember, 24 hours. Um, first 20 people to sign up will get a free brand audit and consult with me. I uh, would love to see you there, see you in the course, and really dive deep with you. I'm so excited. Thank you guys all for showing up for, for yourselves today and for um, to support. Sarah and Andrew. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Oh, one more question. Um, great. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. We'll catch you soon.